search in VR with these vision large language models. <coughs> Conference co chairs, program committee members, professors, fellow students, and guests, good morning. My name is Clarence, and I'm a PhD student in the Hong Kong University of Technology and Science. I'm representing my research team to present our paper titled Force Facilitating Search in VR with the assistance of Vision Large Language Models. So, as most of you have experienced, searching in VR is a cumbersome process. In a VR environment, you may be searching for information, you may be searching for a location, or trying to learn more about something that's in front of us. In order to search, you would type into a virtual keyboard in front of you, or in some cases, leave the application, go to another application, or even leave the headset to go to your phone if you need to find some information. Another key challenge of searching in virtual environments is that you're searching in a 3D space with a 2D search mechanism, which is not so convenient. So, what our team wanted to do is see how we can improve upon the situation. And with the advancements of LLMs, we thought about actually what can you do with the large language models and how can they help with VR search. Our initial finding was that if you are asking questions, right, if you're in a VT environment, sometimes looking at something. So it's very hard to describe what is in front of you. <coughs> and therefore, we wanted something that could take in images, take in pictures, that can give you better search results. We're also inspired by mechanisms that exist in the search space. Uh, for example, in the Google uh, Circle Search example, um, in the, with, with the Google Search, you can go on the phone and circle uh, on an uh, object uh, and select the area that you want to search and return the result to you uh, in, in this way. We're also inspired by other search, such as the Baidu search from uh, AL Search, which where you can scan an object and it will give you more information about uh, the uh, search results that you're looking at. So with that, we framed our research question as follows. What search difficulties do user meets in current VR environments and how do we solve them? And then what elements should be considered when designing a VR search interface leveraging vision LLMs? <coughs> what we want to contribute to the research community is to present a better understanding of the user challenges and the activities that are surrounding them. With that, we present a series of probes which we designed with vision element incorporated in some scenarios. And then we want to present design interface design principles which can be leveraged by other researchers in the future. So our methodology, we started with a formal study where we interviewed 10 participants on RQ1 with literature review. With that, we designed design probes. With the design probes, we co-designed with a number of participants that with varying range of VR experiences, and then we present our design considerations. From our forms of study, we learned that there are multiple reasons why people will search in VR. As I mentioned before, to know more about scene, to know more about objects that's in front of them, or to find objects that are inside or outside. In addition, in a scenario that one is engaged, also impacts experience. So context, it matters. Whether someone's playing a game or the training scenario or different methods, the search mechanism matters. The users also believe that current search mechanism, typing in a keyboard, leaving a headset, is not the most ideal situation. And it disrupts the immersion. So if you want to play a game, you don't want to leave the headset to go find something about a strategy of the game. They desire different modality for input, and some suggest that perhaps using voice or other input gestures as a way of um, inputting for a search result. So combining literature review, formal study, and understanding of the VLM's capability, we propose five probes, six probes which we'll present to you today. The probes are divided into two main categories, knowing about an object, and also finding an object, in sites or out of sites. Here's an example of the probe that we had for the user to review. In this example, the user wants to know more about a specific object. In this example, in probe number two, we want to know more about object's detail. In a third example, we want to know more about objects in a screenshot, so we want to know a patch of area. 
And in the last example, the training scenario where you want to know about how something works, right? And you want to understand that how you can train on it. So in the probe, what we propose are, are different uh, methods. Uh, again, leveraging the computing <coughs> of the LLM. For example, in this scenario, because we're looking at a 3D object, not a 2D space, we take screenshots, six screenshots of the object, which we pass into the vision LLM, and then it will search uh, from different sides and angles. Because looking only at one side, you're not able to see, for example, the whole six sides around that object. In the scenario with the training, what we realize is that in the context of training, you just want to know more about how this object works, right? So in, in our probe, what we tested was, well, what if we can then just learn about the object functionality from a video or from an animation? Here's an example of how this works in, 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 the, in the prototyping. So here, the user selects an object uh, in a scene. It takes a screenshot of six screenshots of different angles and then passes it into an LLM, which then retrieves it with information that the user can uh, provide for the input. The second set of behaviors are find object behaviors. So we want to understand how do you find an object in a scene. Before we wrote a mobile object, now we want to find an object. So let me find a beer in the in the supermarket. And the beer could be occluded from me or it could be right in front of me. So the virtual official LM what can help is in the scenery where you can see things, you'll be able to point out where they are uh, and segment that information and provide more information about the context. In the scenario where the object is outside, <coughs> what we propose is actually either giving you a map to the area or taking you there directly to telephone. So we presented this probe to the user with the intent of learning more about how this will work and what we can do with co-design with them. Here are some feedback from the users. Um, they understand that they like the animation more, for example, in the training scenario. Uh, they will want to have um, context-sensitive search and search results. Um, they also mentioned their need for feedback mechanism. So in, because LLMs have a, a tendency to hallucinate, uh, and all the training information you provide may be out of date or incorrect, they would like the mechanism to be able to provide feedback uh, and update the information that's stored in the database and in the scene. So here we present our design uh, principles and, and, and considerations. The first is to not disrupt the immersive experience. What we don't want to do is provide a keyboard input or have the user jump out of the, of the, of the headset to go and disrupt the, their scene. Uh, this can be achieved, for example, in our representation to use uh, vision LLMs and other input methods, uh, such as gestures, as we presented in the Google and Baidu examples. Design consideration two is align object scenes and text description and scene construction. So LLMs are black box models, right? Uh, and connect to the outside world without understanding the world. So you can find your LLM by providing offering of text and the scenery information around you. So what we want to do is be able to pre-train LLM for relevant information. The third is provide context-sensitive information, information retrieval. So if you return a result, it needs to be context-sensitive. It needs to be relevant to the user search. Design consideration four execute search path based on user modalities and execute display actions based on the type of search. One of the user feedback was, don't give me so many steps when I search, just give me the result, right? So in the example of teleportation, the user just wants to go, go to the location, so therefore don't give me a map to take me directly. And finally, enhance search results through user feedback. As I mentioned before, in the context of explainable AI, we want the mechanism for users to be able to, to update their uh, mechanism. Uh, and this allows them to um, provide uh, updates to search results. So in closing, here's an illustrated example of, of a game, a scenario. So you're trying to play a golf game, you're trying to understand what club should I use, right? In the virtual world, you can then choose a club that you want. You want to understand how to play the game, how to, which, uh, which, which is the best way to go and play the, play the ball, then you can assess the situation, uh, and, then, um, and then use the map to help you get there. So that, that concludes my presentation. Uh, and, um, and recognize there are some limitations and, and future research directions. Uh, and uh, if you want information, please refer to the paper as well. Thank you very much.